So, after the blip that was the last episode, our form is still really good. Let's hope this can continue against Red Bull Salzburg and Union Berlin. Hello and welcome to Around the World in 80 Clubs. Since you were last with me, and as I said, that disappointing episode, we went on to beat Heidenheim 6-3 with Acosta getting a brace to Staden, Delhi and Lanes with a brace there. We then went to Heinrich Frankfurt, who were right up there towards the top of the table and beat them 5-2 with Jose Melinikov, De- Delhi to Staden and Acosta on the score sheet. We had two late goals there. We then went to Everton and won 3-0 with Lanes Ascot. Acosta and Muller on the score sheet. It was then a three-all draw against Cologne with Salami, Allen and Romano getting the goals there. They went 3-0 up, sorry, 3-1 up it was early on and things did not look great but we managed to turn it around. We then faced Schalke in which we won 5-2 with Testaden, Lanes, Melikoff and Daly. I think I've just done that. Then it was 3-1 against Rapid Vienne with Brennan, Jose and Testaden on the score sheet there. Another 3-1 game against Hamburg. This time Acosta, Lanes and Olnecka on the score sheet. Then we faced FC Cologne again for the second time of the month and it was 3-2 in the cup with Brennan, Melikoff and Testaden. Most recently we faced Magdeburg and it was again 3-2 with Lanes, Testaden and Melikoff on the score sheet, which leads us up to today, Red Bull Salzburg. As things stand, we are currently second in the Champions League group and top by two points in the Bundesliga. And Dortmund are right behind us in both leagues. So, here we go for the game against Red Bull Salzburg. We have Silvio not able to play. Uh, And I didn't sort the bench out. But I did sort the team out. We have Jacobs in goal with Schmidt, Deli, and Dango at the back. Um, We're going to swap those over like that. We've then got Melikova, Okma, Acosta and Salami with Lanes and Muller behind to Staden up top. We've got a few with Jose's injured for three weeks. Um, obviously, we've got quite a few unregistered players which will need to be sorted out fairly soon. Um, but that is the team for today let's hope that we've got enough to push us over the finish line in this game Red Bull Solskjaerberg aren't a terrible team but they are also not one of the best teams in the league I say in the league in Champions League his lanes with the corner 
It gets cleared, but only as far as Lanes picks it back up, drives inside, and pushes it straight into the far corner. Excellent play there from Lanes as he takes the corner. Unfortunately, it's headed clear straight away. Lanes picks it up, drives inside the field, and then pops it past the keeper. The keeper must have been unsighted by his defenders there and it's 1-0 within the first few minutes of the game in his lanes now with the free kick Ooh. and it's a good save by the Red Bull Solstead keeper and unfortunately Jacobs has just picked up an injury which means Escardo comes onto the pitch it's not something you have to worry about very often, but luckily we do have backup keepers around, and we've got a very, very good second choice. Even though he just flapped at that somewhat, and Red Bull Salzburg are back in with a chance as they go level. We are going to drop some encouragement. And here's to Staden now on the ball. Plays it in towards the far post. Dango plays it back to Lanes, who gims the top of the post there. Very unlucky. Is Melikov plays it in to Lanes. And Lanes pushed down there. I think it's just outside the area. But let's wait and see what the referee says. He's checking with VAR. It is no penalty. It is just a free kick on the edge of the area. And the highlight miraculously ends. So we need to push on in this second half. That's for sure. We are going to keep things as they are for the first 10-15 minutes before we make changes. But it's Red Bull Salzburg who are on the attack here with Barreto to Jim. Again, I'm a Lanes picks it out. Lanes is having a worldie, but Valgas has put the ball in the back of the net to make it Red Bull Salzburg 2. Stuttgart 1. Salzburg really pushing us now. We're going to demand more. I think we're going to have to make some changes. As the ball's tipped towards there, Muller manages to get the ball. Salami now running down the wing. Can he find a ball in? Salami tries, goes towards the corner flag, manages to get a ball into Malakoff and Osling picks it out of the air quite comfortably but the highlights not ended here as Schmidt gathers the ball and then gives it just stands there and Evan Ferguson you don't want to give him that opportunity but so Kruder's going to come on who have we got that can play left? On Yek and swap those two over. Uh, Lanes is playing well. To Staden's having a poor game. And we're going to leave it there, actually. We've got Brennan who can also come on. But here's Schmidt. Plays it back to. Dango, Dango now plays it all the way back to the keeper and Delhi to Okmar, Delhi, Schmidt, Okmar, Acosta plays it over the top, Lanes puts it in the back of the net to make it 3 2. Let's continue pushing on. We need to get another goal. Otherwise, it is definitely the curse of the camera at the moment. 
we are going to demand more. I'm going to make a final change of Ogmar's coming off. Acosta's going to drop back. And Brennan's going to come on for Ogmar. And let's see now if we can just push on that little bit more to get a goal. But it is Red Bull Salzburg who are on the attack. And Manga plays it towards Evan Ferguson. But we get it clear. And Muller. Evan Ferguson is someone we did try to sign. But unfortunately we're unable to. We're going to again just demand more we've gone very attacking now's our opportunity to get a goal here's brennan plays a lovely ball out to cruder cruder back to dango dango's cruder can cruder find a ball he tries to find one over the top to lanes but is unable to and manga now picks it up for Red Bull Salzburg. Lanes is chasing him down. He's unable to get there, but Luis Alberto comes in to steal it, and here's Ocosta. Plays it back to Dango. Acosta, Muller, Brennan. Lanes! Oh, just wide. Was that the opportunity? We're going to push Brennan into the middle. Acosta can go across confirm that change let's go and unfortunately lanes had a blinder of a game but we've ended up losing to red bull salzburg Is this just the lack of depth? Our players did seem quite tired. And I think we are going to have to rest everyone there before the next game. So, join us in a second as we face Union Berlin. So, for the game against Union Berlin, we have Escado in goal, replacing an injured Jacob who's out for six weeks. Dango, Schmidt and Deli at the back. Melikova, Okmar, Acosta and Salami in midfield. Lanes and Brennan behind Testaden up top. Let's get going. And hopefully we can bounce back. And I really think we should bounce back. It's Union Berlin. I mean, they're not the worst team in the league, but they're a team we should be beating fairly comfortably if we've got any aspirations of winning the league. And here is Salami, our wide, comes across to Testaden, and Testaden puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 1-0. And that's the start we wanted. And to stay and celebrating with our fans in the corner there. And that's what we like so far. Lanes now with the corner. Plays it in. Okmar gets tipped onto the post. And Dango plays it back to Acosta. To Brennan. And the highlight ends. Here we go, boys and girls, stepping up for a free kick. Brennan, what can he do with it? Plays it in, oh, just scrapes the top of the goal there. Unlucky with that one. But here's Lanes, who loses out to uh, Lenglen and Lipez Jasper. Mogala. Mogala plays it across and Galaraz was given far too much space in the middle there. That was not a good defending there. The defence kind of just left him to run through by himself and that left the keeper with absolutely no chance. 
And as things stand, 1-0 would actually put Dortmund ahead of us. Here's Hoan. Plays it back to light. Morgella. Jasper. Silva. Ligelen. <laughs> and Escardo manages to push it over the bar. But he's not looked ever so comfortable. Remember when he first came in, we had all the hopes for him. Brennan clears. Union Berlin slightly coming back into it as the half's gone on. But here's Salami to delay. Delay to Schmidt. Schmidt to Acosta to Okmar. Can Okmar find a ball? He plays it back to Dango. Dango plays it all the way back to Escardo, to Delhi. Delhi to Acosta. Acosta to Brennan. Brennan plays Salami through the middle. Salami puts it in and to Staden. With the easy tap in. Brings it back to 2 all. What? It's been disallowed, has it? No, it hasn't. I thought it had been disallowed for a minute. Brings it to 2 1, sorry, to Staden there with a shot and a goal. We led them back into the game, but luckily for us, to Staden's on fire today, and he's always going to score when he wants to. He's had a couple of games where he's not played particularly well. But today he's got his shooting boots on again. And we just let Jasper through, but I think he was offside. If he's not offside, we've done terribly there. But I'm pretty sure we stepped up at the right time. We did. As you can see... There, he was quite far offside. We had stepped up enough. Now back at the top of the table, and his Brennan plays it over to Staden. Should have done better. Wasn't the easiest chance, but really should have put, punished the, them then. Words are difficult today, boys and girls. His lanes... Plays it over to Brennan. Here's Brennan. Brennan play, plays it back to Salami. Salami pushes it over to his left foot. But it goes out for a goal kick. We're coming up to 60 minutes, so there could be changes made. We're going to see what happens here. Dango plays it out. Here's Harwan. Plays it to Silva. Mogola, Lipez, is to Staden now, who's got the ball, plays it through to Lanes, can Lanes find a ball into the middle, he does to Brennan, but Brennan just blasts it wide. We're just going to have a look and maybe make some changes. Um, Luis Alberto is going to come on for Brennan, and we're just going to go for the Two up top. Uh, you can be an advanced forward. To Staden goes to Poacher. Um, Kruder's coming on for Salami. Alvarez is coming on for Menakova. That will do for now. So we made a slight tactical change there. I wanted to bring the two up top, uh, but here is Alvarez on this left-hand side. Can he find anything punishing? He plays it to Okmar. Okmar through to De Staden, and that's a hat-trick. That's got to be... That's his hat-trick, and fantastic goal by De Staden. I was going to say, I don't know what the referee was checking for, but that's three for the man. 
who was out of form before this game, but I stuck with him. And now it's a case of what can he do? Can he make it even better? It's Cruder. Cruder plays it back to Okmar, to Dango. Dango with a big shot. Regains it though, plays it to Schmidt, to Delhi, Delhi to Acosta. Costa plays it to Alvarez. Back to Acosta. Schmidt pumps the ball over the top to Luis Alberto, who forces the keeper to make a save. And it's corner kick. Alvarez to take the corner. Plays it towards the far post and Delhi, but Liana comes out to gather comfortably. We have absolutely dominated this game. And I think it goes without saying to Staden is back. And with all these shots hitting the post, it could have been six, seven. But it is all over and we have won 3-1, keeping our goodish run of form going. Unfortunately, with that loss in the Champions League, that's a bit of a worry. But we have done it. We are going to sort that out. And in the next episode, we go to Bayern Munich and Manchester City. So two possible losses there as we go back to Manchester City since leaving them let's see what team they've got but if you've enjoyed that please leave a like subscribe if you're new i've been the mask manager and until next time i have spoken